Today we're gonna be multi-apping where I live in a small town. It is a small but growing town, so don't get me wrong there. Basically, I'm experimenting. I didn't wanna do the Costco drop today because lately, Costco has just been $20 orders all day long, and I could do the same thing here, or at least that's the plan. So today we're starting things off with a shipped order here out of course, Target. This order is only four items. It's like some GoPro accessories and then toys. So those are always hard to find. I got here a little bit early just in case. This will probably be like a $15 order or something to get things started off. But uh, yeah, we're definitely going to need some nice little HEB orders in there. Hopefully some Instacart ones, some guaranteed income. And um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. All right guys, so we got the groceries, if you even wanna call them groceries at this point. I'm really glad I got here early because then 20 minutes looking for this. 20 dang minutes. And then, um, yeah, it's just because I suck at finding toys at this Target and all the kids go through them and mix them all up. So there's like supposed to be one box for this one, but they're just, there's like 10 boxes all mixed up with them. All right, we got a 12 minute delivery and no other orders yet. So yeah, we'll be on the lookout. All right guys, so we just dropped that order off. I was hoping that I'd get another order because it was just turning 11 a.m., which usually means that uh, some orders are gonna come through unshipped. I didn't see any for the town that I live in, unfortunately. So we're gonna be waiting for an order. Something I've noticed over here is even the bad batches get taken immediately. I think uh, it's extremely oversaturated over here. Worse than it was before. So this might be a, a fail. I don't know. It's also like a slower day, but people are taking no tip orders, like blind swiping them. All the notifications I get, shop accepted before I can even see it. Then if I'm just sitting on the actual Instacart screen, then it just disappears. This is the only order that's been staying here all day. 100 units. It was up to 28 with a boost and then someone took it and now it's back down to 24. I guess they canceled the order and now it's back at only 22 or 24 now. I'll let you guys know when I get another order, but it might be a while today. All right guys, so I think I figured out what's going on. So this HEB says it's closed on the actual app. All right, so right there, it says that the store is closed, even though it's obviously open. So I think what's happening, because I live close to this HEB, I haven't been seeing orders all morning because the store isn't putting out orders. The orders that I'm seeing right now are basically bottom of the barrel and for a store farther away but delivering right next to this store. So this location is not putting out orders right now and that's what's going on. So I'm going to drive to the other HEB and see if we see a bunch of orders because now that's the only HEB in my town that has orders for whatever reason. This one does say it will open back up in a couple of days but that's really weird. I have no idea why they're doing this. Alright guys, it's pretty bad. Um, I'm at $4 an hour right now minus gas, so probably $2 an hour right now. I think uh, this is why so many people are like quitting gig work right now. It's just, it's bad, but somehow oversaturated all at the same time. My plan failed. We're gonna go back to Costco. We're gonna do what we know. And uh, we missed the Costco drop, but there's still some orders over there, it sounds like. So I'm gonna go that direction. It's probably like a 25 minute drive, but we gotta make some money today. So wish us luck. This may just be a long day, but we got to do it. So we finally got a Costco order for $24. It was only five items, nine units, and uh, six of those are waters, but I don't even care at this point. And we're delivering to an apartment, but I am in a, a bind right now. I'm sitting at $2 per hour right now because first customer hasn't tipped me yet. So um, yeah, we need to make some money bad. Thank you, Costco. They always have my back.
It's a new camera angle there. It's more of like a POV without having to wear a vest or, or a head strap. Basically, it's an angle that I see on Maverick's channel. He's um, a truck camper, whatever you want to call him. He has this mount that he holds in his mouth and it holds his phone right here. It looks really cool. And I think it would be good for whenever I'm packing the car up like this. So today we're experimenting with like a makeshift mount that I use and um, we'll see how it goes. I think I need to buy the actual mount so you don't just hear me heavy breathing while I'm lifting up these waters. But let me know what you guys thought of that if I even kept it in the video. All right, so of course apartment complex, no gate code. I'm just praying it's not the third floor or fourth at this one. That's that's a lot of water. All right, there is sweat dripping off of my nose. Yeah, the the numbers at this apartment are a little deceiving. Usually, the way this number was set up, it would be on the first floor, but with this specific apartment, they just go one through 30. Yeah, it was the second floor. I would have canceled this order if I knew that, because that was seven trips up and down those stairs, and it's uh, 100 degrees right now. The dude ordered six waters, Costco waters. Like, my back is already messed up, and um, yeah, I'm a complete clown for doing this. I did it to myself, I'm not gonna lie, but it's just annoying this person wasn't answering. They didn't give me a gate code, so I couldn't get in for a while. I had to have some employee at the front desk let me in. It's like, some people, man. We did just get the tip from our first shift order today, and it was 10 bucks, so we're at 18 plus 24. Let's figure that out. So we're at $42. Let's see, I see a HEB order, not taking it. So we're at $42 for three hours of work. So we're at $14 an hour now, which is better in two. But um, part of that's just because of the problem with the HEB shutting down on Instacart in my area. So today's just a wash, but we're trying to make it work. This is just the, the icing on the cake right here. All right guys, so we sat for a little, we just got a $17 order. It's only like five miles. And then we got to add on immediately. It was only an additional mile and eight more items only eight dollars though but it's only a mile away so the miles are more important to me it's not too much so this is now a 25 dollar order we should get this done by 3 p.m so if everything's in stock we should be at 67 dollars which isn't um good but yeah we got this guys first order 10 minutes away it's a business and um, the second order is really close to that everything was in stock super hot should have not worn pants today but I didn't think I was gonna be doing Costco if you're just doing like HEB orders it's a little more calm you're not waiting as much in the car but yeah that was a mistake all right 10 minutes out let's do this first drop off complete and second one's only four minutes away I like and the frozen's like that too so I've heard it's really refreshing dropping off to someone that is impressed with your service not the other way around lady complimented how fast um, I got there apparently she like just placed the order some like an hour ago from my understanding so yeah that's always nice and they helped get the stuff out of my car it's super refreshing I appreciate that so much All right guys, let's do some math. 51 on Instacart plus 18 on shipped, $69, beautiful. Basically that shipped order is kind of crazy if you think about it. We did four items there and it, it did take us a while, but four items and we got paid $18 for that. Like that's awesome. So I'm saying like shipped pays so well, like their actual like batch incentive or whatever you want to call it. Sometimes twice as high as Instacart, 
or more for less items. It's kind of wild to be honest. But yeah, do we do we just call it a day if we hit 69? Like, is that where we stop? Of course not, we gotta keep going. We gotta break 100. Why did I wear pants? A miracle just happened. So we were just by Sam's Club dropping those orders off. And I finally got to Costco and I saw a little uh, $49 order pop up on my screen for Sam's Club. So immediately, we're turning around. We're going back to Sam's Club for that $49 order. It was only 11 items, 19 units. And uh, I think I'm delivering just to a house. It's not a business. It seems too good to be true. I hope I'm not being tip baited because it's not a lot of items or miles, but we'll see. We'll try it out. It's worth the risk. But yeah, if we were at 69 before, basically 70, this will put us close to 119. Yeah, basically on the dot, 118 actually. So that's pretty sweet. This batch saved our day. Our mortal enemy, Sam's Club. Yeah, I haven't shopped here in a while. I don't know why, but I think uh, with this proximity update, I just stopped seeing their orders in the Costco parking lot. Now, um, I think because I was driving by here, I actually saw one. All right, let's go do this. Cross our fingers, everything's in stock. They do not want replacements, which is fine with me. It makes shopping really easy. So let's go do this. Here's the order. You guys may have noticed something. We're missing quite a few items there. We ended up having to refund four Topo Chicos, the dry creamer, and a probiotic. <sighs> So I'm gonna guess this order is gonna go down to 35, honestly. Just stinks. They weren't responding, so I let them know, so hopefully they're not upset. I asked an employee and she said no replacement, so I think I did the right thing. I just feel bad that so much was out of stock. 18 minutes away, it's a, like a 10 mile drop off. Looks like there's some traffic. I will get back to you guys whenever it's dropped off because I'm, I'm really interested see how much this goes down or if it was a fixed tip I'd be so happy but kind of doubt it didn't go down too much it wasn't too bad we ended up making 38 and 80 cents on that order so still definitely worth it in my opinion um, I would have taken the extra $12 if that Topo Chica was still there but it would have been a lot more weight too so definitely still happy got a $21 tip from her and she has tipped me very generously in the past too so I know that she's not scamming me it's a, a real customer and I'm pretty happy right now so in total we're at 108 so not too bad do a few more orders see if we can get to 150 so I'll let you guys know what we get next all right guys so can that Costco gas of course um, I just got a $22 order for an HEB closer to my house not quite in the same town but on the way back that uh, last Sam's Club order took us pretty far away but it was still worth it we have barely any gas, so I had to refill. And of course there's a line here. So hopefully it doesn't take more than 30 minutes and um, the, the order doesn't look too bad. Just one customer, so that's pretty nice. That should get us to 130. So just one more order after that should get us to 150 and I think we'll be doing just fine. It's a hotel for the delivery. These drop-offs are really starting to get to me. This is gonna be like four trips back and forth to get to his hotel room. Yeah, my back's already sore and there's a ton of heavy stuff. It would be fine. It looked like it was residential. That's what it showed. Turns out hotel, so lovely. We have a problem. We have a major problem. Pretty sure this guy traveled somewhere and forgot to adjust his address because I'm pulling into a residential neighborhood 
there's definitely not a hotel here. All right, guys, so turns out they were old notes, which is very nice because then we didn't have to return all the groceries. So what I did was I tried calling them and um, then I went to the door and I was able to confirm that everything was good. They're still there. So I got it dropped off. We're now at $134. So $16 away from 150. Really close to 300 for the first two days of this week. So that's right on target, I would say. And it's a Wednesday. Wednesdays are pretty slow, so I'm pretty happy with where we're at. Not sure if I'm gonna do another order or not because it is dinner time and my stomach needs some food, especially after today, it's been hot. We've been working for just around eight hours. Yeah, I really don't feel like doing math right now, so I'll just throw up my hourly rate right there. It's probably pretty garbage, but considering that we were at $2 per hour for the first uh, couple hours of work today, I think we really pulled around, so I'm pretty happy with that. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys smash that like button. You guys have been killing it lately. We have a crazy average watch time right now. I think it's like at eight minutes or something absurd. You guys are really awesome. You guys doing that helps promote this video. YouTube shares it more helps grow my income on YouTube. Yeah, it definitely helps make up for these crazy high gas prices right now. Anyways, on that note, I'll see you guys on the next one.